Hey everyone, welcome back to Fish and Bee TV. Uh, before I start the video, I want to especially thank everyone that's been supporting me on Instagram and fa or if not Facebook, uh, YouTube, like all the subscribers and stuff that have rolled through and all the views. I want to thank everybody because that means the world to me right now. Uh, I've I didn't really introduce myself very well last time when I like the last video, so I just want to kind of introduce so. Um, I'm a first year college student right now, so and I've always wanted to do YouTube for a full time job. So I figured I would start it now and see how it rolls. And right now, I, the, just the support I've gotten in the past week, not even a week, four or five days, is just amazing. So I want to especially thank everybody for that. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, but today, today's video is going to be. Uh, musky stuff that I have and the musky baits, basic musky baits that I have in my box and rods and stuff that people could buy if they want to. Or It's just a setup video pretty much so if uh, anybody wants anything I have here then uh, I can kind of explain everything and we'll see how it rolls. Alright, welcome back. Um, I am in my garage so there might be a little bit of an echo but I'm, this is the stuff I've got. These are my main rods and my main bag. So I'll show you what's in the bag and I'll also show you what my rods are here. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. So the two rods leaning up against the bag here. This one is a Daiwa uh, Millionaire Reel. It, these are trolling rods really, so they're not very long. I think this one is only what is this one it's a browning rod it is only five and a half feet so very small and then this one I took the reel off of it this is just a backup trolling rod but this one is only six feet long and it's a medium action so nothing really to these ones uh, don't really use them much um, then my main gems here uh, this one's covered but this is a St. Croix triumph rod seven feet long so uh, very heavy duty uh, the only reason I got a seven foot rod was for traveling uh, because I wanted it in my car and seven seven feet's really not as easy to break so then I've got the Abu Garcia uh, Revo Toro Beast it's the 4.9, I think, 4.9 uh, to 1 gear ratio with a 27-inch retrieval rate for every spin of the spool. Uh, I've got the power handle weighted so that I can use it for, well, it's casting rod, so it doesn't spin the gears and stuff when you're doing that. So that's my main one, the rod. This one's 7 feet. Then this one is a Predator Bull, or it's the Predator, but it's a Bulldog rod. And this one is a 8 foot 6, if you can see that, that's 8 foot 6 Magnum crankbait and jig, heavy action, and then the lure weight. And that doesn't really matter to me right now. But And then I've got an Ambassador 5000 on it. So, and that one I want to try to get a power handle for yet, but this one's fairly new. Uh, so that one, those are my two gems, and uh, yeah, not really much to this video, but um, those are the rods, so I'm going to move the rods out of the way, and then I'll get to the bag. So I'm going to show you what's in the bag and what I keep in it for just da daily use and whatever. So inside, I'll start with this. So inside, I've actually got a musky fishing maps of Minnesota so this one has like different lakes and uh, the spots to fish on the lakes and it's very helpful so I would recommend one if you don't already have one then this is these are my baits I don't have many baits I'm gonna try to get out of the light the uh, so these ones are all top waters so I've got the uh, I don't exactly I don't remember what this one was called this one's old though that my, my grandpa gave me that one that one just zigzags in the lake and then I've got a, if I can get it out, gosh, they're all stuck together. 
But uh, this is a whopper plopper, so this tail spins and makes noise and stuff. It's those are pretty nice. Then I've got the Jake. I think is it's made by Jake. I'm pretty sure, but it's just a big jerk bait or a big uh, like diver bait. And then I've got different blades. This one is a orange and black skirt with silver. Um, what's it called? Silver blades. Those are very nice. Uh, this one is black on black, black blades, or silverish blades, but they they look black with a black skirt. And then this one is like a perchy color one. It's got the perch color blade with a black blade. Black on black is actually very recommended. I actually like it a lot. And then uh, I got some jerk baits in here, just simple stuff. In here, I've got the believers. <laughs> very, again, grandpa gave them to me, so they're just kind of memorabilia ones. I just, or not memorabilia, but they they just, you know, just kind of keepsake ones. Uh, I've got a spinner bait in here. Another nice one to have. And then I've got, if I can get that back in there. And then I've got the Bulldog. Those are nice. They're just, you know, pounders kind of. In a way, it's like a pounder. And then I've got the Chaos Poseidon. Another paddle tail rubber bait. Another really nice one. And then this one is a silver and blackish skirt, dual hooks, and this is a 10 for a blades. These are, this is a one gold, one silver. Uh, 10s are some of the bigger styles you can get, and uh, they, they pull water. I mean, <laughs> 10s aren't that bad, but um, if you're a beginner, it, you'll definitely uh, feel it in your shoulder when you're done. But and then I got the side bag here, or the side pouch, and I just keep bug spray. So, you know, it's always good to keep, you know, bug spray, just they're annoying. I got backup hooks, just in case you break one. And these I got six out, and uh, there's five of them in here, but I haven't used them yet, so just in case. I've got an extra sun shield thing, or whatever they're called, just, you know, don't want the sun to kick your butt. Uh, very large pliers. This is very, very important when it comes to musky fishing. Uh, if you don't have long pliers, you're gonna end up having to either cut your line or you're gonna end up being dumb and shoving your fingers down its throat. And uh, if you end up doing that, you will be getting stitches probably because you know those the teeth on a musky are no joke. So. I would recommend these if you're gonna start musky fishing because you know have fun if you're gonna shove your hand in it. Then I just got some flower seeds because I get bored. And then I've got this is another important thing. Uh, good line. I got this is spider uh, spider wire 80 pound test. This is I just used as a backer because it was cheap, so I didn't really care. Um, that was on clearance somewhere, but it wasn't that bad. But I recommend Power Pro. Power Pro, Pro 80 pound test is my go-to. Uh, I keep extra in here just in case, you know, you never know when you might need it. Then I just keep a knife in here. It's, uh, you know, just, it has, it's very sharp too, so just keep it, you know, you want a pretty good knife if you're, you know, just don't be dumb and try to cut something with a, because you're dealing with heavy line, so you're going to be putting heavy line with a dull blade. Mm, I don't recommend it. And then I think that's it. The other thing I would recommend if you were going to musky fish would be a file. Um, muskies, every time you catch one, I would recommend sharpening the hooks because it, you don't want to risk it. Muskies are so finicky the way it is. If you're going to get the chance to hook up on one, make sure it's a good chance. So make sure the hooks are sharp. I do not have my file in here. I actually have no idea where I put it. But... Um, it should be in here somewhere, but um, just make sure they're sharp. Sharpen it every time you, whatever bait you use, just start a pile in the boat, and when when you get home, take those that pile out, sharpen them right away, and then put them back in. And it's a pretty good idea to before you um, put them back in your box, just dry them off a little bit. Just that's why I make the pile, let them air out and stuff, just so that your box doesn't get all musty and stuff. But um, I think that's probably about it. The other thing I was actually going to point out quick because I forgot to say it in the intro. Uh, I did get the uh, decals put on my car.
So if you guys see me driving around or if you, you know, see that my car parked somewhere and you meet me, uh, come say hi because I'm not a stranger and I would love to meet you guys. So uh, I think it looks really good, actually. I'm really proud with how this worked out and the logo looks very nice. The brush stroke font looks amazing. Um, but uh, I am going to be bow fishing it. I do have those set up over there. Um, I'm going to try to do that this week probably and then try to upload it by next weekend. I'm going to try to keep a consistent upload schedule for you guys. But um, uh, thanks for watching again. Thanks for the support on Instagram, like I said in the intro. Um, just thanks. Um, I'm going to be probably hunting. Well, I'm going to hunt probably in two weeks. I think so we're gonna try to do I think it's squirrel hunting or something you know putzing around or whatever but that well I'll be up north for that one so uh, I'll make sure I bring the camera and everything with for that um, but I think that's should be everything uh, again leave comments if you want to see something special make sure you subscribe if you haven't already like the video and uh, thanks for watching Fish and Be TV and I'll catch you in the next one